So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to this interesting video on why C is the fastest programming language. Have you ever wondered what makes C so fast and why it is all over the place when it comes to performance and you know just writing critical code which is speed is required in this particular code? Why do you always think about C? Well there are a bunch of reasons but we're gonna start off with something known as compiled and interpreted programming languages. Now the deal is there are mainly two types of languages. Well there is just in time compiled languages as well but for simplicity I'm just gonna stick to compiled and interpreted languages. Compiled languages are the languages in which you actually write the code and compile the code before you actually execute it. By compiling the code, what you do is whatever human code you have written, whatever English um, includes something, you know, void main, int main, whatever it is, whatever you have written, it is finally converted and is packed into the machine code, the code which what your computer would understand and execute, the numbers, the numbers which get to your processor, right? So you are basically so much ready to give that information to the computer, to the CPU, that the only thing you do when you run your code is just go ahead and read all that numbers and pass it down to your CPU. There's a next set of languages called interpreted languages and this set of languages actually um, runs in a different way. So we have some programs known as interpreters. Now interpreter can be thought of as a person, for example, if you are a person, who wants to communicate with a person in a different uh, language. So consider CPU knows only English and you as a person knows only Hindi. So there's need of an interpreter, a person who knows both English and Hindi, which would listen to you, interpret it, convert it into English and then speak it back to the computer, to the CPU. So you see that if you knew Hindi or I guess English because that's what CPU was speaking but anyway I forgot what whatever it was the order but if you natively knew that particular language then you can directly communicate with the person with the CPU this is why compiled languages are usually faster than interpreted languages um, there's another uh, dimension called just-in-time compiled just-in-time compiled languages which means that they would actually compile the language to compile your code to the machine code as the code is running. So it's it's different from interpreted because just in time compilers can actually heavily optimize the code as well as, as it is running. Um, all right, so why this hell C is still faster anyway? There are a lot of compiled languages as well. There are a lot of um, other languages as well in the domain. What makes C so special out of that? So the deal with C is that there's nothing special about it. This is the reason why it is fast. With high level languages like um, JavaScript or um, Java or Python, languages like these provide certain um, functionalities, certain feature sets which make them slow on runtime. For example, garbage collection is one of them. Um, dynamic typing in JavaScript allows you to write any type of value in any type of variable then the v8 engine has to determine what has to be done so that makes it slow then we have memory leak detection we have all those kinds of stuff which makes a language slow portability is also one of the things you see that um, to provide actual portability that means the code could run anywhere you actually have to write a at least a lightweight virtual machine which runs on top of every operating system which has to be then coded individually for every other operating system and uh, that incurs a cost while running right so when you're starting to run your program the program would be loaded in virtual machine that uh, intermediate representation of byte code or whatever it is would be converted into machine code and then would be ran so that's that's another feature so basically the thing is a lot of high level languages are way too fancy to be fast and with C um, the best thing we have is it's not fancy. C is a language which trusts you. Now there are a lot of languages, um, for example Rust, 
which competes in terms of performance with C as well. And there are certain programs which could actually run faster than C, but in almost always, in almost every case, you can write um, programs in C which are faster than that. Um, so yeah, this is primarily one of the reasons is because C is very close to assembly and a lot of its instructions are directly mapped to the assembly level instructions. So yeah, I believe the reason why C is fast, another, another reason why C is fast is because of the highly optimized LNVM compiler set, GCC compiler, and uh, you know, the development which has happened for so long on the language. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good thing, but uh, with good things comes a lot of trust. The reason C can make itself so fast is because it completely and blindfoldedly trusts the developer. You can do anything you want with C. The only thing you are limited by C um, with C is because of the operating system restrictions. So C does not let you um, do, you know, C actually lets you do everything, but the restrictions comes from the operating system. For example, you cannot access another process memory. You can try to do that with C. C won't stop you, the operating system would. You can try to crash the operating system. Operating system has the job to prevent that. So yeah, C kind of trusts you a lot and would happily, just like I said, shoot you in the face if you wanted to. So yeah, that, that's a, that is a trade-off you have to pay. And in terms of development and in terms of you know, getting things up quickly, this is a very big trade-off. This is the reason we have a lot of other languages. This is the reason we have, um, you know, developed different solutions of programming up uh, things because uh, compromising performance a little bit on the, on the scale of reliability and, uh, you know, just type safety and basically the safety of the program is, is a fair trade in a lot of cases where performance is not very critically intensive. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.